Hey, it's Wade Wrestling, y'all. How's it going, guys? Happy Recovery Sunday, you guys. Um, so I'm actually back on here um, a lot quicker than I thought because after the Royal Rumble yesterday, I said to myself, yeah, I have to come on here and talk about the first official pay-per-view for WWE that has officially kicked off the road to WrestleMania, you guys. Um, but before I get started, I just wanted to give you guys the opportunity right now. If you guys have not seen the Royal Rumble, this is your opportunity to stop this video right now and then come back and watch it after you've watched the Rumble. Um, because obviously we're going to be talking, um, you know, the results of the matches and thoughts about what, um, you know, what I got from it all. So, um, if you haven't watched it yet, this is your opportunity to stop. So, and go. <laughs> all right. So, first and foremost, I just want to say hey to all of you guys. Um, thank you all so much for being here. Um, do me a favor. Um, if you guys haven't already done so, um, hit that like notification bell. That way you guys will see um, or get notification as soon as I drop a video. Okay, so if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and do that. Um, I want to go ahead and just, oh, oh my gosh, it's starting to rumble in here. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say um, to all of my um, all of my subscribers, new and, you know, originals, thank you all so, so much for your support. You guys are super amazing. And I'm never going to get tired of saying that because you guys are the reason why I'm here. And so I just want to thank all of you guys so, so much. I heart you all. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just get right into it and talk about the opening contest which for the Royal Rumble you know what I don't know about you guys but I was like I was surprised that the opening contest was the men's Royal Rumble I I was like oh this is this is what we're starting off with I honestly did not see that happening I honestly thought it was going to be the women to open it up so um for you know the men to open up um, the Royal Rumble, I said to myself, oh, what kind of, you know, tone are we going to set for the night? Um, and so the men's Royal Rumble match, it was, it was good. It was, you know, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, spectacular. Um, because let's face it, I think anyone <laughs> pretty much with a pulse knew who was going to be walking into that Royal Rumble and who was going to be winning it. It was of no shock. And uh, he's uh, right there, <laughs> right there, uh, keeping an eye out on me there, <laughs> Mr. Cody Rhodes. Um, so, oh, you know what? Like I said, in the scheme of thing and the theme, you know, I'm over here rumbling and stuff like that. I actually wanted to show you guys something. So, you know, give me, give me a second real quick. check this out you guys check this out so i wanted to kind of go ahead and display this while i talk about um the men's royal Rumble match um i know the fig is from another promotion however this fig you guys is absolutely incredible it's it's awesome it's 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 absolutely beautiful um so yeah i don't know if you guys have gotten your chance to to get your hands on one of these but I certainly would I think if anything for look at the detail on, on the fig it looks beautiful um, but anywho so with regards to the men's uh, Royal Rumble match um, like I said for me um, it wasn't that like Oh my gosh, you know, because again, for me, like my mind was set. Um, and if you look at my posts that I made on my YouTube channel, you guys will see who I thought was going to win the Royal Rumble. Um, and so, yeah, Cody was it. Um, the thing about, uh, for me, you know, because I've been watching, you know, WWE, uh, the Royal Rumble pay-per-views for a very, very long time. And so for me, you know, again, everybody knew everybody knew um i think you know there was a missed opportunity on wwe's part um and where they could have maybe kind of built up a you know a suspense as to you know when is gonna you know cody gonna come back you know is he gonna 
be able to make it to the Royal Rumble? Oh, I don't know, because, you know, he's going through the recovery process, you know, from him getting injured. And, you know, I, I think they could have, you know, tried to do it in a way so that way when he did come back, you know, and he did, a, um, you know, pop up in the Royal Rumble, you know, there would be this huge, enormous pop, you know, the kind of pop that, you know, just gives you the goosebumps, you know, because you're like, oh my gosh, um, you know, so like I said, for me, I think, like I said, I think that was a, a missed opportunity, but don't get me wrong, at least from what I could tell from what I saw, there was a huge, I mean, huge pop for Cody. So um, like I said, you know, uh, me being, you know, I guess a, an old school fan or, you know, whatever, you know, the element of surprise, you know, it would have been nice to have something like that. Um, I will say that for, you know, all the entrants um, in the Royal Rumble, I, unless I missed the memo, I was, I was thinking that Sami Zayn was going to be in it, um, but he wasn't at all. I mean, I literally waited to like the very last entrant to be like, okay, when's he coming? When is he popping up? So, um, but now seeing the way everything played out, I I understand why he didn't, you know, show up. Um the one other thing that I will comment on the Royal Rump the men's Royal Rumble um, and and as a whole, I I'm actually very pleased that they use a good majority of active superstars to participate in the Royal Rumble. Um you know, nostalgia for me, I mean, it's cool and all, but I mean, you know what? To me, it honestly takes away from the active superstars that they have on their roster. And you know what? There's, you know, there's some pretty good talents that they have. But the thing is, is that sometimes they get overlooked or, you know, um, not really, you know, placed there in the front because of, you know, these, you know, legends and, you know, these, uh, you know, Hall of Famers, which, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, I am a mark, you know, for all of them. But the thing is, is that, you know, we got to keep, we got to keep moving, you know, we're moving forward. Um, and I think um, WWE actually did a great job of trying to showcase active and current superstars um, in the men's Royal Rumble. So I thought that was great. Um, the one other thing that um, I will comment on is obviously, you know, the entrant of, you know, Logan Paul. Uh, again, for me, I'm, I'm very old school. I'm old, you know, I, I like wrestler. I, I like wrestlers. Like I like superstars. You know, I'm never. I've never been too crazy about like, you know, outsiders trying to come in into the business. You know, and insert themselves. You know, because their heart's not in it. They're not really. You know, there to be there. Um, I I have to tell you guys. You know. <laughs> I'm not saying, you know, I'm a Logan Paul fan per se, but you know what? Um, he's got some skill, you guys. He's got some skill. And you know what? The spot that he had with Ricochet, I was like, that's nicely done. That is nicely done. Um, and again, so from what I've seen, you know, the, the handful of times that he's made appearances, he's made them count. And he's like, I'm like, okay, are you putting in the work? Like, hey, like, what's 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 going on here? You know, like I said, because the, the match that he had with Roman, I was very pleasantly surprised as far as his, you know, in-ring abilities and everything. So so with regards to that, I think that was the one other thing that stuck out to me. Uh, well, that and, yo, you guys, Brock Lesnar being eliminated like that. And to me, that quickly, where he didn't have the opportunity to go ahead and clean a house I was like what like okay I did not see that happening I thought he was gonna you know do what Brock does and clear house but the fact that he got eliminated and he got eliminated you know by you know Bobby Lashley of all of all people I'm like what so I'm over here thinking I'm like okay are we gonna do another setup here is it gonna be another match between the two like what was the purpose of that what's going to happen so we'll see um and lastly, on the men's rumble that I'll touch in, um, that now that I remembered, um, is the fact that, yo, Logan Paul took out Seth Rollins. What? I'm like, hold up, hold up. Now, if this would have been me like last year, I'd be like, oh no, he has no business, no whatever. But now I'm kind of intrigued, um, potentially seeing him, you know, Logan Paul face Seth Rollins. I'm not saying I want to see that at WrestleMania per se, but I'm like, mm, okay, you guys 
have my attention. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's that's my take on uh, the Men's Royal Rumble. And like I said, hey, Cody's going to WrestleMania. And you know what? <laughs> that man, at least for me, you guys, oh my gosh, the long-term storytelling here. It is beautiful as a wrestling fan. I'm eating that up, <laughs> okay? Like, it's just, it's so incredible. And like, oh my gosh, I love... I love all the emotion. I love all the passion that he has. So I am super excited to see Cody go to WrestleMania and hopefully have his moment. Um, so we'll see. Um, so the next match that happened, I believe it was actually, yeah, it was the, uh, the Raw Women's Championship match, you know, between Bianca Belair and this gal right here this gal right here miss alexa bliss so this match for me you guys um i don't know i i mean it was okay it was okay but to me i'm just like okay what what are we gonna do because clearly bianca was not going to lose that title i was thinking we were gonna get some kind of you know, interference or, you know, some type of, you know, Bray or <laughs> Uncle Howdy type of assistance or interference or, or something like that. But that did not happen at all. And, you know, ultimately, you know, Bianca retained. Uh, so I think for me, the real question lies, at least from the conclusion of that, is, is Miss Bliss going to return? Uh, is, uh, is, is she going to come back? and become this version of Alexa Bliss again? Or is is she Sister Abigail? Is she gonna morph into that? So I don't know, uh, we'll see. Um, but the thing is, is like, at least now, I feel that there's more, more steam, you know, rolling into, you know, um, with regards to her role with um, Bray Wyatt. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. So um, we'll, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Now, next is for me, actually the favorite, favorite, favorite match only because of the results of that. And this gal right here, this gal right here, Mommy Rhea, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. She is our 2023 Women's Royal Rumble winner, you guys. And I could not be more happy, okay? Let me tell you guys, like, I don't know what it is about her, but man, you guys, whoo. <laughs> I mean, I say this all the time, teasing around, but I tell you, got you know what, guys? She just, man, like, she just, <laughs> she makes me feel confused. I'll just say that because, man, she is so strong, you guys. She is so dominant. Like, I love her presence. I love, I love everything about her. And, uh, guys, she is like super strong. Okay, in case you guys haven't noticed, all right, and um. Probably you guys don't know this about me, but I'm a sucker for gun shows. And let me tell you, Mommy Rhea, she's got a set of those guns, you guys. And uh, let me tell you, they are really nice, you know. Um, so, yeah, like, I mean, for me, the the Women's Royal Rumble match, I mean, I thought it was pretty good. I was, I mean, for me, I was, like, a little bit more entertained by that one because, you know, to be honest with you, like I said with the men's, it was a given. It was a given. And for me, like... From this is who I mean, this was my number one pick. This was who I wanted to win. Like, there was no one else for me that I wanted to see win because, um, in a previous video that I, I talked about it, I'm like, for me, like, my ideal match for WrestleMania would be Bianca Belair versus v Rhea Ripley because those two gals they are some powerhouses, and I know the two of them would like legit not hold anything back. So the thing is, is that like with that, I'm just like, yeah, oh, oh, see, oh, that's, oh, guys, 
<laughs> that's giving me goosebumps. See, oh my gosh, that just thinking about that, you see, and that's what I'm talking about. That's what I that's the kind of stuff I want. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anywho, so no, yeah, like so just now, you know, possibly having that match and, and at the grandest stage of them all at WrestleMania, holy yes, yes, please take my money. <laughs> like so, so yeah, so now that it's it's a possibility. Yo, you guys, I am like soaking that all in. Like, yeah, I, I'm I'm ready for that. Um, but on the on the flip side of that, which she actually talked about at the press conference, is you know, hey, you know, she also still has you know um, something to settle with Charlotte Flair, which I certainly can understand that. You know, when she first came to WWE, you know, the comparisons between her and Charlotte were like insane. You know, and she really made it a point you know, to make herself stand out, you know, so people could stop with those comparisons because, you know, Charlotte is Charlotte and mommy is mommy. Okay. So, and I think she has done an amazing, amazing job of showing everyone who she is, you know, she is Rhea Ripley, you know? Um, so yeah, but you know, obviously I think the match between Charlotte and her would be awesome and amazing. But for me, just from a you know a fan standpoint and like I said you know wrestling match uh in itself yeah give me Bianca Belair and Mommy Rhea right here that's that's what I want I don't know what do you guys think what, what which do you think would be the better match um you know the best bout you know match between you know between these women you know like I said for me I think it's gonna for me I, or I don't think I mean I would like it to be you know, Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair. But, you know, she clearly has some thinking to do and, and I know she's going to make the best choice for her. So we will see. Now, I do have to touch on, you guys, <sighs> you know, the people who participated in the Rumble. You know, um, I will say this. Um, again, kind of going, I guess, per perhaps with the theme. I am super happy and I am very, very glad that for the most part, you know, the superstars that they used were current and active wrestlers, whether in NXT or on the main roster. I thought that was absolutely phenomenal because again, I touch on the fact that although I love our legends, I love our Hall of Famers, again, guys, we have to focus on the now, on the present you know and the thing is is you know if we keep bringing in these legends and we keep bringing in these hall of famers you know it's taking away from the focus of the current superstars that they have right now and that you know whether they realize it or not those are going to be the ones that are carrying the company moving forward you know so again you need to put that attention and that focus on the current talent that you have and i think for the um, women's um, Royal Rumble. I think they did a pretty good job with that as well. Uh, I I will say, and I know a bunch of people are going to be talking about this, and they're going to have you know their opinions and and stuff like that. But you know, I I was like surprised, but not in the most positive way about Nia Jax's return. I'm just like, uh, okay. Now, um, I will say, which whoever did this, whoever, you know, corrected this, I applaud you because Dewdrop is no more, okay? I am so glad, I am so glad this chick got her name back. And you know what? She is freaking awesome. Okay, she's awesome in the ring. And the thing is, is I hope now by, you know, her appearance last night, you know, in Royal Rumble, I hope that now, you know, moving forward, they give her an, a real opportunity for her to showcase her skills. Um, and I will say another entrant that I was pleasantly surprised to see is, I, I don't want to call her old school because she's still active, but, you know, uh, crazy <laughs> Nikki Cross. Yo, I freaking dug that. Or I should say the NXT Nikki Cross. Yo, I freaking loved seeing that. And you know what? I mean, it was like 
perfect last night because if you guys remember her character you know from nxt she would always be like running running running, running you know really crazy and everything like that and i don't know if you guys saw you know the the walkway that it took from whenever they came through the curtain to get to the ring i mean that's quite the hike i mean so she like literally like haul butt and stuff like that and it was just that was perfect for her because that's literally what she would do you know whenever she'd get to the ring she'd run all around and everything so um it was good to see that nick uh that version of nikki cross so i thought that was pretty cool um and as far as as a whole you know um the girls looked great and i was just like you know me thinking and i mean like looking at those girls and i'm like man this is a lot of the uh older older NXT folks that, you know, I used to watch and I'd go see almost like every month, you know, and here they are, you know, um, in one of the biggest pay-per-views in WWE. And I think it's just so awesome, you know, seeing those girls out there, you know, killing it and putting out, you know, putting on a hell of a show. So that's, that's pretty freaking great. Um, so, so yeah, there's that, like I said, with, 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 Cody winning and and Rhea Ripley uh Rhea Ripley winning I'm just like yep yep I I gotta go to Wrestlemania I have to go so um so there's that uh and then the next match um that we had now <laughs> this guy right here this guy he's special he is special you guys okay so for me um i was i was really excited for for the match um but the thing was is like the style of match <laughs> i don't know if any of you guys are gonna give me a hard time about it but honestly that match actually or that setting would have been perfect for naomi okay hello feel the glow yo that that whole setting and everything like was ideal for her it was freaking awesome it was it was the way you know the lighting and everything was perfect that would have been great for her to have a moment but you know sadly you know things happen and stuff so it belonged to this guy here in l a night yeah <laughs> so can i just say though props okay props to l a night okay for for getting out there and hustling you know um and doing the best that he could against this guy right here, okay? Um, I thought, you know, the match wasn't like, oh my gosh, you know, I mean, it was it was a match. And I think for me, it was more so a match to kind of just really start to give us a presentation of the Bray Wyatt that we have now. And I, you know, it, I, I, I didn't even know what to think about it, to be honest, because I, I'm kind of still like up in the air in the direction that they're trying to to go, you know, and, you know, I will say, you know, the story with, you know, Uncle Howdy and the fact, you know, the fact that he's, you know, in there, you know, within, you know, Bray and, and Alexa in some ways. So I'm thinking, I'm like, so is he going to be like... Uh, the leader and like they're his followers or like what's the deal like how how are we gonna tie all of that in together so um I'll just I'll just say that you know it'll it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out um so now the main event okay guys <laughs> this is one of the main reasons I wanted to come on here and talk to you because so let's be real for quite some time, quite some time, in my opinion, I think WWE has been lacking when it comes to storylines. And again, me being in an old school wrestling fan, growing up watching, you know, WWE, I grew up with storylines. Um, I, you know, I, that's the kind of stuff that, you know, that pulled me in and, and having these characters and these, you know, bigger than life people, you know? And so for me, you know, the process and, and everything, you know, coming together the way it did with the bloodline, you know, storyline has been absolutely incredible. And can we just take a moment? Can we just take a moment and appreciate, appreciate 
how much work they've been doing for Sami Zayn, with Sami Zayn, to get him to get to that moment. I mean, you guys, I can, oh, oh my gosh, look, ooh, see, that's what I'm talking about, the goosebumps, you guys. I can only imagine what it felt like to be there in San Antonio, you know, for that pop that was heard whenever freaking Sammy took the chair and just beat freaking Roman in the back with it. Oh my gosh, how effing awesome is that? Like, you guys, you know, I was, you know what, I'll be honest with you, I was not expecting that to happen last night. I was not expecting that. I was thinking that it was going to happen, you know, at the next pay-per-view. But it happening last night, I, I didn't see that happening. So, you know what? And then, like I said, the 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 betrayal and, 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 and like, all of that. I mean, the build-up and everything. It was just, it was absolutely incredible. And then looping in and tying in Kevin Owens into all of that. I mean, whoever... <laughs> Whoever came up with that story or <laughs> gradually going with it, I applaud you because that to me has been one of the best, and I mean best storylines that WWE has had in a long time. And oh my gosh, the carnage. Oh my gosh. Like th the ending of that. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was... I mean, yes, it was bad because, I mean, Sammy and, and Kevin Owens got up, you know, they got beat up really bad and that really sucks. But, oh my gosh, you guys, I mean, the way that it all played out, oh my gosh. And then, and then Jay, like, like there, like torn, like in disbelief, like what the heck, like, oh my gosh, like, and then the way he, he, he left, he left his family family he walked out on his family i'm just like what like no like how is this happening what i'm just like what am i watching right now but i'm like this is so beautiful this is this is wrestling this is sport this is sports entertainment you guys this is it and i was just like oh my god i have oh like oh gosh it's like, i'm getting like i'm getting flustered because i'm just like Oh, like I haven't seen or felt like so connected to something, you know, in WWE, you know, and, and, and something that I've, I've been able to resonate with and, and, and just feel like how I did last night when I saw the match between Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens, you guys. And then and, and seeing, you know, how distraught and torn Sami Zayn was, you know, literally like just witnessing, you know, that 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 assault, that attack on Kevin Owens and him not being able to do anything and and and, and not wanting to betray his family. And I mean, I mean <laughs> dang, you guys, like I just like what in the world? This is this is freaking amazing. Amazing. Okay, so needless to say, the main event to me, guys, it was magic. It was magic. And again, for the first time, and I mean a long, long time, I am actually very very excited for this road to wrestlemania and you guys i'm telling you i i i i can't even like i can't even look i'm 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 at a loss of words right now like i can't even like put together you know like like everything that i'm feeling and that i'm thinking and and again, that has not happened to me in a long time when it comes to WWE. So whoever it is, whoever's back there, I, again, I tip my hat to you because holy crap, you or you, the team collectively did an amazing job last night. Amazing. And so for me now... <laughs> I, I mean, I, and I was a little bit, you know, undetermined and stuff or uncertain. But now after watching that, oh, yeah, you guys, 
I gotta go to WrestleMania. I have to. Um, because I need to see, you know, the finish to this, you know, to this build up that we got last night. Because I think it's gonna be freaking incredible. And I can't wait to see it. So, um, but yeah. <laughs> so that's that. That is my <laughs> that is my recap. That is my take on the Royal Rumble. So I just had to come on here because I'm like, yo, I have to share this with you guys. Um, at least for me, again, I'm still trying to process and get everything like, you know, in some type of like, you know, order of like, oh my gosh, you know, but um, I, I wanted to jump on here um, and um, share my thoughts and stuff with, you know, with what happens. So um, I'm really interested and eager to know what you guys think. So, you know, do me a favor, drop me, drop me a comment. Let me know, like, you know, were you happy with the results of the Royal Rumble? You know, were, were you surprised with any of it at all? Um, you know, did you like the way it was presented? You know, yeah, just let me know. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think. And so, um, but yeah, so I will let you guys go for now. I hope you all have an amazing, wonderful day and I will catch you guys next time. Okay. But until then you guys take care and remember guys, wrestling is life. Bye.